Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call the Wild and today we've got ourselves a whitetail guide for Rancho Del Arroyo. I have been waiting till about halfway through the early access period before making this guide so that it will be as packed full of information as possible as to where these whitetail are going to be. Now I'm not going to cover any feeding or resting zones, just the drink zones, but I do real quickly have one more thing to mention before we get into the actual guide. Uh, as I've said in previous videos, videos this is an early access build of Rancho Del Arroyo so there's gonna be a few things that are different from the normal game for example I have 99 skill points and 97 perk points and that is because this is a save file sent to me by the developers so that I can show the map off to you guys fully unlocked and that is the reason that we've got that and it's also the reason that everything is completely revealed just thought I'd mention that real quickly since I had a few questions in one of the previous videos about it. So that is the reason for that, but anyway, we are going to go ahead and jump straight into the whitetail guide now before this gets too long of an intro. Alright, so before we get into the actual guide, I just wanted to real quickly say that if there's any other guides that you guys would like me to do, leave a comment down below of what guide you think I should do next because I want to get a couple guides out for some of the new species, but I'm curious what species you guys would like to see me do next, so leave a comment down below. It's also a massive help to the channel, it helps the videos do better, and that makes it so that I can continue posting daily videos like I am right now. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. So the first place that we're going to go to is right here. And as you can see, there is drink zones absolutely everywhere. And white-tailed deer can be at all of them. So we are going to have a full map with all the need zones circled and stuff at the end of this video. But we're going to go ahead and go over each of these individually. So we're on top of the first one. Uh, there's a bobcat zone covering it right now. But they will be drinking just right along this shore. Uh, you can also have them over on this bank over here. A lot of these zones I have ended up deleting just from hunting pressure, but you can get them over there. They can also be kind of like in the middle here, which you actually see a couple right there, and that is this zone. Then if you look on the other end, you got a bunch of whitetail lined up there. That's going to be the zone on the end. And this is the lake that's right next to the starter lodge, so you're going to be able to access this lake super fast. I've noticed that sometimes there's also some deer drinking right here, as you can see. I'm not sure if they're tied to... Well, actually, it looks like they're tied to this zone, so that would actually make a little bit more sense, but... That's the zone for right there. So you have a total of five zones at this first lake, which is kind of insane, especially when you take a look at Layton Lakes and how many whitetail are typically at one area on that map. It's not nearly this much, so this map's going to be a lot better for grinding the great one, in my opinion. The next lake we are going to go to doesn't have as many locations that you can find the whitetail, but they can still be throughout quite a bit of it, so we're going to go to the lodge instead of the tent that I have up, just because it's going to make it easier to go around. But as you are coming down from this lodge, you're going to want to look northeast, because the first herd's actually pretty close to the lodge. It's going to be right here. And this is usually one of those herds, from what I've seen, mine has like two bucks and a doe, which, those are usually zones that stay quite well and don't uh, delete themselves as easily, because as a lot of you know, there's some interesting things that go on with the spawning of whitetail. Sometimes zones just quit spawning bucks. Uh, sometimes bucks turns to does and stuff like that, but there's our whitetail right there. We got them kind of just chilling down here. They can also be over here, and that'll both be the same zone. They just kind of change spots. And then if you go a little bit further to the shore, you guys will be able to see this next zone, which is over here. We can't actually see them at the moment because they're behind these trees, but this is where they typically drink is behind those trees over in this area. One thing I really like about this lake is the fact that it's relatively shallow in certain areas and we even have like a full on uh, like land bridge going through here. So you can cross through this area and it'll give you access to the zone that's over here along with the zone that's over here. Now, uh, I've accidentally deleted mine from just hunting it a lot, but you're going to find them kind of like on that bank over there towards the north. And then if you continue walking down through this area, you can also find them kind of drinking in these trees right here, very close to the shore. You can also have them drinking right here. We don't have any here at the moment, but it is just directly across from the last zone that we took a look at. So you can get them over here and then you can also get them over here. 
And the very last one I'm not going to run down to, but it is just at the very end right here. And they'll be close to the shore as all of these other zones are. It's much nicer than Leighton. You don't have them drinking up in the trees, which is super nice. This next lake here is one that you guys will probably be spending quite a bit of time at, not just for Whitetail, but it's also the best Bobcat Lake on the map. And you can find quite a bit of Javelina here too, so overall it's just a great place to go if you're looking for just really anything. It's a fantastic lake. The first zone we are actually about to walk over top of, it's right here, very close to the lodge. Uh, this one's kind of a hard one to hunt, and honestly, I don't recommend hunting this lake for Whitetail if you're going to be using, uh, like, Grimm's methods uh, as covered by Lady Legend in a few of her videos. If you guys haven't checked those out, I highly recommend it. It's very good information. Explains how Grimm has got three great ones over the course of 15,000 Whitetail kills, which is honestly just incredible. It's pretty insane what he's been able to do, but... If you're going to be using those methods, I would definitely not recommend this lake. It takes a long time to get through all the different herds, and they're kind of in a brushy area, so... It is another place that you can go to get whitetail, and there's a decent amount of them here. It's just not the most efficient, unfortunately. But we have the zone right here, and then we also have the one just a little bit further up towards the north. And then you guys can barely see it from here, but this is another whitetail zone just a little bit further down. And then we actually have a tent right here because this is right next to the next location, which is actually just right here. Uh, this tent's set up for bobcat hunting, so this isn't the exact spot you'd want a tent, but you can get the whitetail right here, which is right there on the map. And then these other locations take a while to get to, so I'm not going to show them. But you can get them up here where this little, I guess you would call this like a, a little finger comes off. You can get them right there. Uh, you can also get them down here, which is really close to the lodge, thankfully. And then you can get them here and here. And as I was saying, we'll have a map at the end of this video so that you guys can follow that. So next up, we get to one of probably the best lakes that we're going to be covering today. And that's because it's got eight different whitetail drink zones on it, which is kind of insane. That's a lot of whitetail at one lake. And what's crazy is it's not even the most out of all of these lakes that we're going to be covering. This last one that we're going to cover next is by far the best. And you could probably do an entire Great One grind just off of that lake alone, which is honestly insane, provided you're able to get all of the zones that are possible at that lake. Unfortunately, I've deleted a lot of the zones that were here before, so we're just going to have to cover them from the map here. So basically, you can get them right on this little land piece. You can get them uh, right on the tip of the land where we are. You can get them over here. Uh, as you guys can see, there's one here. I've also seen them right here and here, here and right here but as i was saying i've been testing the whitetail very extensively and deleted a lot of the zones but it looks like we got that one back at least so we can at least show that off but this lake is really good i definitely recommend that if you're planning to hit multiple lakes uh, definitely include this one in your rotation if you don't mind using quite a bit of tents to get like an efficient setup going because it because it does take quite a bit of time to run this lake, so I would definitely recommend getting a bunch of tents together so that you can actually efficiently get through all of the locations that are at this one. But the very last location that we are going to visit is this lake right here. And as you guys can see by all of the tents and tripods, I've been hunting this lake a lot. It is the most insane whitetail lake you could possibly go to. It's better than anything I've ever seen in the past for pretty much any species. Just the sheer amount of them is unreal. And as you guys can see, the herds over here are absolutely massive. I believe these are some of the biggest whitetail herds that I have ever seen. Leighton honestly has nothing like Rancho Del Arroyo has. It's quite incredible. So that zone is directly across over here. And then there's another zone just a little bit further down over in this area. And it's the same thing here. Just tons of whitetail all over. It truly is insane. 
And the crazy thing about this is there's literally no place that you could place a tent where it's not going to uh, prevent some of the animals from rendering. So you do have to fast travel to get some of the herds to show up. So that's what we're going to do right now. And once we fast travel, we're going to look pretty much right where we came from. And there's going to be a herd of whitetail over there. And yep, there they are. Right on cue. Right over in this area. And then if we continue going down, we will fast travel to this next one. Now, once you fast travel over here, you should be able to see the next herd. And they're actually running off because the tent's a little bit close, but they can sometimes be, well, right there actually. And this zone is right down here. Uh, this is another one that I deleted earlier, but it looks like they have returned, thankfully. This zone right here is fantastic, and it usually is one of those zones that has two different herds in it. So, a lot of times you'll get two herds that are split off on different sides. Uh, as far as I understand, that is considered two different herds. It's not considered one. It's just two herds using the same zone. And once you have killed off whatever you wanted over here, I have a tent here to fast travel, and you can claim all the deer, and then... Look over at our next location, which is right here. I don't actually have anything here at the moment, it looks like. But you can get them right here, which is right in this area. Right here. Then after you take those on, just fast travel over again. Now, as I was saying, this does require a lot of tents. So this might not be the most efficient method if you don't have access to a lot of tents. But as you can see, we can see another really nice herd from across the way and that's going to be the one that's right here so this is another herd that we could not see before because we were over on this side but now that we've moved over a little bit we can see these guys finally and then if you continue down a little bit further you'll be able to see some more white-tailed deer on this end and there they are that is a, a decent level two also but this herd right here is another one that i always notice that it tends to be split i don't see it being split right now but I probably spooked off the other herd by running up here because they're usually a little bit closer like over in this area which is only 120 meters away but this is another good zone it's been very consistent for me uh, last but not least we got this zone over here and I think if I'm not mistaken they can also spawn in one other spot but I've only seen them there once I lost the zone and then it hasn't come back but it's right in this area Unfortunately, I can't show anything off there because I don't have anything there at the moment, but this last location over here is another one of those big herds that usually has quite a bit of bucks. Uh, after a while, these zones do tend to go to doe only, though, which is a little unfortunate, but I mean, it is what it is, and that's actually a pretty good level, too. I think we're going to actually take him because he looks pretty decent. I don't think that's going to be diamond, but it'll be a decent one at least. And one thing that's very interesting, for the first time ever, the whitetail actually drink right next to the water instead of like 100 feet up into the trees like on Layton, which is another thing that makes these so much easier to hunt. You don't have to worry about getting birds that are clear up in the trees, which is super nice. All right, there's our buck right now. That's definitely not going to be a diamond just by how close that tip to tip spread is, but it is a 236 buck, which is very solid. Not a bad one at all. And you get a lot of really good bucks on this map. I feel like I've got more diamonds and rares off of this than I ever did off of Layton in the same amount of time. It's kind of insane. So I think to round things off, we are going to go over a few of the kills that we got during the grinding that I've done on this map. I have easily killed four to 500 whitetail deer in this early access. And I've had quite a few decent trophies from it. You guys have already seen all the rares that I got. I've already put those in videos, but I haven't shown off any of the diamonds. And we actually have got quite a few of them. I think at this point we've killed three, four, maybe five diamonds. I can't remember the exact amount. I think it was five if I'm not mistaken. But we're going to go ahead and play some of the best ones. Uh, one of these was even taken on live stream, which was pretty cool. And we're going to go over all of the information you're going to need to hunt these whitetail deer. So... Uh, first of all, you're going to want to set the time to 8.31. Now, you might be wondering why we're not setting it to 8 a.m. since that's when they start drinking. And the biggest reason for that is because not all zones are going to start at 8. Some zones are going to start at 8.30. And to ensure that all of your deer are at their zones immediately after you change the time, you want to change the time to one minute after the latest drink time, which is 8.31. 
So that's what you want to do. Set it to 831 and then you can hunt them until 1130. Uh, I wouldn't really worry about that too much because most of the time you'll be able to hunt all of the zones that you want to hunt within that amount of time. So it's usually not that much of an issue now. As far as equipment goes, I would definitely recommend getting a grunt collar to bring along with you just in case you have some deer that are in the trees. It's always nice to be able to get them out and uh, we got a turkey interrupting us in the background, but as far as other gear goes you're not really going to need any other collars maybe the snort wheeze collar because sometimes a grunt collar is not going to work and you might want to try a different collar and sometimes they'll respond to the second collar it's interesting but it's a nice little uh i guess it's a nice little advantage for bringing two collars you can have two chances of attracting the deer to your call but the next thing that we're going to talk about is the rifles and I think most likely the best guns that you're going to want to use for grinding purposes is obviously the M1. It's one of the best guns in the game. It has the best follow-up shot speed and it's got really good knockdown power. And I think the only thing that beats it in its 4 to 8 class would be the 303. And the 303 has just a little bit more, uh, I guess, kill quickness. It kills things just a little bit faster because it has extra expansion over the 30 out 6 round. So I would definitely recommend the M1 first and then the 303 second. And then the reason that I don't recommend the 7mm is because it's break action. You fire one shot and then it takes like three or four seconds to be able to fire another, which is not good when you're trying to kill multiple bucks from one zone. They tend to spook off before you get a chance to take a follow up shot, which is not what you want in this type of a scenario. I also highly recommend getting a bunch of tents and tripods so that you guys can easily get between locations and make sure you keep your hunting pressure down. That's going to be very important if you're trying to grind for a species. You always want to make sure you have tripods at every single zone so you can keep that pressure down. And then also the tents to just make it so you can get to those zones quicker. And if you're really serious about getting the Great One grind going and making it as efficient as possible, I definitely recommend pushing putting at least 10 of your tents towards whitetail zones just so you can quickly get between them. Other than that, there's not really anything else to say about equipment. Uh, definitely want to use polymer tip bullets. Uh, I never recommend soft points just because they don't have the penetration to get through the shoulder and there's going to be times where you hit the shoulder so you want to make sure you're using those. And other than that, there's not really too much else to go over so let's go ahead and toss the map up for you guys to see. There is so many whitetail zones. I believe I counted 32 or 33, which is quite a bit. There might even be more. Uh, whenever I end up editing this video, which will probably be a couple days after I record it, I will have the most up-to-date map that I have available, so there might be more zones by the time I actually finish editing this video. So, you guys will get whatever map is the most up-to-date, but that is all the zones we have. We have quite a few of them, and honestly, I'm impressed with this map's whitetail populations. It's quite incredible, and I've even done some whitetail grinding on stream, so you guys have seen it live in action, and it's been good. I've been really happy with it. Much better than Leighton Lake in almost every way, because on here I can actually find bucks, unlike on Leighton, where it seems like bucks just kind of disappear. They end up in different herds that they weren't originally in and then you got to go find those herds and with Leighton it's really hard to actually figure out where they are because a lot of their zones are deep in the trees or in little dips where there's water that doesn't show up on the map. It's just really strange the way the whitetail are on that map and here on Rancho it's way different, way better. I feel like the whitetail are a lot more fun to hunt here and I don't know what it is but they just seem like they fit better in an environment like this, a rough desert environment. It's just so much more fun and so much cooler to be able to hunt them here. And I think a lot of you guys are going to enjoy it, but we're gonna go ahead and end the video there. I hope you all enjoyed. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to click that subscribe button, click the like button, and leave a comment down below on what you guys think that we should be looking at next when it comes to guides, because I do wanna do some more guides on the brand new map. I just don't know what species you guys would prefer to see, so leave that in the comments below. But with that being said, guys, we will go ahead and end it here. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!